Water under the bridge. You may have heard someone say that something was water under the bridge to mean that the thing is forgiven, long past, or no longer considered important. I felt bad at the time, but it's water under the bridge, your friend might say to you as you apologize for something mean you said. You might be telling a friend about a needless risk you once took. I got seriously injured, but I made it out alive. Water under the bridge. I lied on my job application, but I got the job and just got promoted. It's water under the bridge, a co-worker might casually tell you during lunch. As is plain to see, the idiom, water under the bridge, is used to describe an event that has all but been forgotten, doesn't matter at present, has no influence right now. Normally, water under the bridge is used when talking about a past incident that was either dangerous, unacceptable, or downright immoral. Now that some time has passed and no one was hurt in a lasting way, however, thinking about the matter does not cause concern. You could also say water under the bridge if you want to encourage someone to let something go, to forgive and forget. For example, if one of your friends was hurt by his girlfriend in the past, but she is genuinely sorry, you could say, she obviously regrets it, water under the bridge. The origin of this idiom is unclear, but it is obvious that the idea behind water under the bridge is universal and can thus be found in many languages. In French, they say, to let water flow under the bridge. In Taiwan, it is said that once a ship passes in the water, it leaves no trace. In Spanish, they say, it's water that has already passed. In Hindi, it is said that the time which has passed will never come back. Italians might say, water that has flowed past the mill grinds no more. As we might conclude, it is best not to dwell on a past event, especially if there is nothing that can be done to change it. Even if something enraged you in the past, but at present there is nothing you can do, you should consider it water under the bridge and let it go. Life is too short and time is too precious to spend it thinking of past transgressions or planning revenge.
We sure paid a lot of interest, but our credit cards are paid off now, so it's water under the bridge. You might say to your partner on the day you guys become debt free. Maybe an old classmate is apologizing for bullying you in elementary school. I forgive you. We were kids and it was a long time ago. So it's water under the bridge. You caused a fire and almost burnt the house down, but luckily no one got hurt. You were only a kid. It's water under the bridge, your mom might say as she laughs about the incident. There are many things in life. That pass and exist only as memories, be they good things or bad things. And if those things don't matter to you now and don't affect you presently, you know that they are water under the bridge.